Well, bam. Head porting and refinishing is all done. Took a long time, but finally, finally it's behind me. I may do a little bit more work on those combustion chambers to get them a little bit more shiny. They're pretty nice though. I mean, they're good enough. Really, they're good enough. So the exhaust ports are uh, finished with one of those Scotch-Brite buffs. So it's actually, I'm filming this. I can't really see how shiny it is with the camera too much, but oh yeah, you can kind of see it. So the exhaust ports are fairly, uh, fairly clean and shiny now that they're all done. Um, combustion chambers look pretty good except for one where I found a little bit of detonation pitting. That's what that is. It's not really any big deal. So intake ports are finished as well. I'm pretty happy with those. I'll show the other head here. It's the same. So at this point, I need to send these heads to the machine shop for three different things. I need to have the heads milled, um, and the amount of milling I need to determine with a couple calculations to find out what my ultimate co uh, compression ratio is going to be. Um, probably somewhere between 10.5 and, and 11, so it's probably going to have to be between 0.7 and 1 millimeter removed from the deck on that block, or not the block, but the head, sorry. Um, then they're going to have to put in new valve guides because obviously from porting, they've been removed. I have a full set of those manganese bronze guides. Um, I may try to do it myself. I haven't decided yet. If I do it myself, I'm going to have to make a tool to do it. So we'll have to think about that. And then it's going to have to have a three angle valve job done on it. So I have all the valves from both the engines, if it would focus, all taken out, of course, all cleaned up on the bench grinder. Um, and then I'm using my micrometer to determine which of all these valves are, you know, within service limit. Um, um, so those valves that are within service limits are going to go to the machine shop to get the three angle job done. So the intake valves exhausts look okay I guess that's these are from the 164 engine and then these ones are from the Milano's old engine so I mean they look pretty good I mean not terrible nothing to scream about either though so Um, with the micrometer, I've also taken a whole bunch of shims that I've had laying around. Um, measured them all. So hopefully with uh, between all these shims, I have the right sizes. Uh, more than likely not, that, to be honest, to uh, finish the head. Um, I may either buy new shims or maybe uh, sand a couple of them down if they're really, really close to spec. I've uh, got all the, the valve train and stuff all cleaned up now as well. Um, again, micrometer, uh, measure, measuring the wear surfaces to find if they're serviceable. And that ones are all clean. Bag of valve springs. So getting ready, really close to uh, finishing these heads and having them done. Then I can get, begin on the bottom end.